Ladies golf is the largest growing segment of new players to the game. And if you're just getting into the swing of things, start with a pro. Last week, Nikki caught up with golf instructor Sandy Lemon and learned a few basic techniques and solid fundamentals. I've worked with a lot of women. I, I teach golf for the LPGA golf clinics for women around the country. And women are getting, more women are getting into golf for business reasons. Uh, there's a, uh, there's a, a, a business part of it that they can take clients out. Uh, women are getting into golf more for some for exercise too. Uh, they like the uh, the the whole in, a whole total package. I'm going to call it where they like to golf. They like to uh, go to the grill. Some call the 19th hole, <laughs> and uh, they 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 kind of combine everything together with a, with an outing. And it's a social thing too, is is that they can be with their friends. I mean, I have a philosophy in teaching golf. For, for, for men and women, and, and I believe women are more sweepers in golf. Okay. And what that means is they basically, when they swing, they sweep the grass, as opposed to the to the, the counterpart, the males who are taking the divots. It's a little bit, that's called a hitter. So they're sweepers and hitters. So um, I, I basically teach them that way. Uh, hitters uh, requires more strength. Uh, they have more speed, and it's it's harder on the body when you think of a golf club going into the ground at 80, 90 miles an hour. So uh, and I, I show that right up front, uh, make sure that uh, they understand that uh, there's really not any physical limitations, so to speak, as long as we sweep the grass. So it's not going to hurt them, because a lot of them feel that way, that they, I'm not going to take part of that ground. You don't have to. Off we go. We're in, we our, go. In, our, uh, in our cart going to the driving range. I'm going to go um, get some golf balls. Okay. And put right here, so we'll do our little our little lesson. All right, you know, here's a club. Okay. This is an iron, okay. and uh, I want you to, to go over the fact that the end of it is it's called a grip, but we're not going to grip it. We're okay. going to hold it. I call it a handle. Okay. We hold the handle. What I want you to do, I'm going to teach you and, and let you feel how okay. hard I hold a golf club. Okay. All I'm going to have you do is to hold your right arm out like this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to hold it as tight as I hold a golf club. That's it. So you feel that okay. on a scale of ten. This is a four. Yeah, I was gonna say. So four out of it. ten. We don't grip the club. We hold it. You're gonna put your right, uh, left hand on first, and when we place the left hand on, I'm just gonna mention a uh, part of your left hand called your heel pad. Mm -hmm. And all we're gonna do is place it right on top of the grip. Okay. And this thumb's right on top. This is 12 o'clock, right on top of it. Okay. And to tell if you had it right, you can let go of the last three fingers and keep that heel pad up there and okay. hold on with this one. Oh. And you should be able to hold it. Now, if you held it like this, which a lot of people tend to, uh -huh. and you try to let go of those th three fingers, you can't hold it. No. <laughs> so that means the club would be moving in your hand and you would have to grip it. Got so I'll just get the left hand on, and then I'm just going to let you place your right hand on underneath your left. And you always want to touch them oh, as long okay. as they touch. Okay. And that's what we were, would refer to as a baseball or ten finger grip, which is very common. And I tend to like to start ladies that way because it's a strong issue. So that's how we do put our hands on and now we're going to put you in a position to make a swing. Okay. We call it setup or the fundamentals of setup. Mm -hmm. And I believe that 85% of the shot happens in the setup. When we swing a golf club, we swing on a clock. Okay. You're facing me. I'm the clock. This is 12. Mm -hmm. This is six, mm -hmm. this is nine, and this is three. Right. We always start at six. My hands go to nine, they go to three. That's a half swing. That's it, that's a half swing. Oh, okay. Okay, and that's how we're gonna start. That's and after we do okay. some nine to threes, then we're gonna go and take our hands up to 10, which is shoulder, 10 yeah. to two. There's your full swing. That's it. Oh, now, when okay. we swing, this is the only thought I want you to think about. Okay. Sweep the grass. Sweep the grass. Like you sweep said, the grass. Girls are sweepers. So girls are sweepers and the guys are hitters. So all we're gonna do is sweep the grass. Okay. <laughs> now all the ball said was we didn't quite get the grass. Better. Better. You're getting there. Get that T out. That means you're sweeping the grass. There you go. See there? And the ball went up in the air. What did I give you to think about when you swing? Uh, because your swing only takes on average 1.3 seconds. Some people are faster, some are slower. That's who they are. You don't change that. Right. Okay. But a minute, but a second is not a long time for anybody. Right. So <laughs> one swing thought, and the swing thought we we're doing today is sweep the grass. Sweep the grass. Keep it simple. Sweep the grass. Arms. That's it. That's it. Now you got it. That makes sense. Now you got it. Oh, I'm definitely coming back for more. <laughs> 
Well, that was not bad. I'm pretty proud of Nikki. We'll have to get some lessons whenever she gets back. And of course, if you want lessons, all you have to do is contact Twin Warriors Golf Club at Santa Ana Pueblo. And there's the phone number right there on the screen for you, 771-6155 or SantaAnnaStar.com. And of course, we'll have that info at Casa.com as well. And we're